Well, hello, YouTube. What's going on? This is Russ out here on a uh, chilly day in the mountains of North Carolina. Hope you've had a good couple of weeks. Me and uh, my, my awesome hot little wife, we just worked off at uh, the children's home. So we are off for a week. But then we go back and we're on for three weeks. And of course, I can't smoke my pipes on campus. So I relish my days on the front porch. And because we'll be back at Christmas time, and we'll have the, the pleasure and the blessing of Christmas morning with the kids on campus, naturally, what I'm getting for Christmas, I can't open up in front of them. So I've already got it. First, a little housekeeping. My country gentleman in it, so McClellan's old dog. Man, that's good. So what did I get for Christmas? I got a pound and a half of Peter Stokelby's Luxury Bullseye Flick. And eight ounces of Northwoods. And I'll get to the other present in just a minute. But right now, I want to talk to you about the tobacco. What I've done is I have taken and we got some of these big jars, the big mason jars, ball jars. And this is what the majority of the Stokebees went in, the big ones, because I'm going to seal them up and not touch them for a while. But I still want to smoke it. And from what I've heard, and from what I've seen and people have said, every time you open this jar, the aging process starts all over again. So you're back at square one, basically. So, I decided to go get me some medium mason jars, pint size, I think they are. So some of it goes in here that I will dip into on occasion, but I also bought the smaller jars which will be my daily jar that I dip into. So I've got the large jar, which is gonna stay filled, not be touched. Got the medium jars, which will be dipped into on occasion. And daily, I'll be dipping into these. What do you think? Is that a decent system or am I putting too much thought into it? I don't know. Here's something I'm wanting to try. We'll see how it goes. It's a never ending process. It's called learning. So, that's my tobacco setup that I'm using now. So, what did I get as my last? final Christmas present. I love my pipes and I love my tobacco but if you follow me on Instagram which is just R. McClam I think or it might be Russ McClam either way if you follow me on Instagram you know I like my guns and my knives too and I got me dun, 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 a new knife Yes, I did. I've got the SE6 and the Azula, so I had to get the SE4 as well. Nice little knife, really is. It's comfortable in the hand, not heavy at all. It's a beautiful little knife. So if you're looking for a knife, check it out. I'll tell you, I'll even tell you where I got it from. Found the best price. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Everywhere I checked, I couldn't find that knife for less than $110, $120. And uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which is 
smkw.com. Dogs going crazy. Truck went by. smkw.com. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, check them out. Uh, fast shipping. But, uh, Merry Christmas to me from my awesome wife. Uh, that's what I got. And uh, that's about all I got. <laughs> just wanted to smoke a pipe with you, go over the tobacco stuff. And uh, that'd just about do it, I guess. Let me know, though, on the tobacco storage issue. Am I doing it right? Or am I just putting too much into it? Let me know. Till next time, y'all have a good one.